Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. One of the most important technological advances on the farms in recent years is the advent of the yield map, Darren. I mean, yield maps are awesome. They're in most combines now where they're actually recording yield data as you go along in the field and also moisture plus elevation. So you can make uh, topography maps, you can make moisture maps, yield maps. It's awesome. Well, here's where I think it's really interesting, Brian. We were over in the Ukraine a few years back and farmers were trying to farm 25,000 acre tracts of land and do everything the same on every single acre. And they were looking at us wondering, well, man, isn't that a big waste of time doing something a little different on this part of the field versus that part of the field? And we said, no. You know, this is where the yield monitor comes into play. You look at that part of the field and you see, wow, I'm getting 200 bushel of corn here per acre, but on this part of the field, I'm only getting 120. Yeah, What's but, the difference? Yeah, but that's the whole thing. All this is gonna do is tell you where the yield is at. Now it's up to the farmer to try to figure out why. But nevertheless, it's nice just having the data because before farmers would see, oh yeah, there's some difference in yield and that kind of thing. Now they have it concrete. And if you start talking about 200 bushel corn versus 80 bushel corn, that's 120 bushels times, let's call it even $7 corn. You know, you're talking $800 an acre. Do you think you could make some modifications for $800 an acre? Yeah, I think I could. Well, here's the problem though, Brian, is it's real easy to make this yield map now with the technology we've got, but what are you gonna do with it? If it's just a pretty picture that sits on the kitchen table all winter, well, that doesn't do anybody any good. Farmers still have to take that data and try and figure out what's going on, whether that's by taking soil samples to follow up why those areas are different or planting the next crop and taking plant tissue analysis where they actually take leaves off the crop during the growing season to see what the differences are in those areas. Either way, those things have to be addressed but it all starts with having some good data from that yield monitor. Now, let's say that you're concerned about the environment and you say, boy, I wanna make sure these farmers aren't over applying fertilizer. You know, farmers are using these yield maps now to see what kind of yield potential they have in their field. And if let's say over the last five years, consistently there are areas of the field yielding a lot less, well now with yield maps, they can use that, they can put it into a computer program and they can actually have fertilizer applied at lower rates in those poor yielding areas of the field. So it saves the farmer money, it's better for the environment, and I mean, it's just an overall good thing for everybody. So how can you beat that? Well, the other thing it does is it lets farmers pick better hybrids. They can find oh. out, wow, this hybrid does good in this soil type, but when we got into this other soil type out in the field, it didn't succeed. Now we can pick a better hybrid for that particular field and raise more food for and everybody. And it might not just be hybrid, it might also be population. So in those poor areas of the field, if the farmer had a lower plant population, in other words, if he had 20,000 plants per acre instead of 30,000 plants per acre, maybe those 20,000 plants would have had enough food to survive in that poor soil and everything, and they would have had more yield. I mean, there are a lot of ways to look at this thing. Any way you look at it, the yield monitor has been just a tremendous invention for agriculture, and I'm glad that most farmers across the country are now using that, and they're mapping out their fields to see that there are some differences in the field that they can manage for better productivity going forward. Well, one of those differences that could show up in the field is if you have a wild outbreak of our weed of the the week. We'll tell you what it is and how to control it coming up later in the show.